I'll get the money someday. Ha ha ha. I, I believe in you. I believe in you. I know you can do it. And then... Oh, I should... I should run a prediction. But this game is, uh... They're already comboing pretty hard. We got Cherry Ferrari, aka GG Gibriel XD versus JJ Cito. I'll run a 30 second prediction, you know, before we see if they have like the going second cards, the going second capabilities to break this. Gamba! Yup, quick prediction though. Insanely quick prediction. If y'all want to gamble, you gotta do it ASAP. GG versus JJ. True. GG Jibreel. Okay, it looks like a lot of people are voting for JJ. Wow, okay. One th oh, 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 oh. 1,500 points on JJ. 10,000 on Cherry Ferrari. 10,000. It went up by 9,000 last second. Oh, how can I enter these tournaments? Um, Let me go ahead and link it. Join that Discord. That Discord is where the tournament announcements go when I go to host tournaments. And you just gotta be one of the first blank amount of people in the tournament to join. Uh, chat says Yada is using a different deck. He says he's using the same deck. Uh, I'll tell... With the submitted deck list. I don't know how this stuff happens. I would have won if you let me play Super Every Samurai Punk Theory on. <laughs> Jeez. There's just too many names for that to be a real deck. Nah, I'm fine, I'm fine. But let me... Uh, let me go ahead and see. I have all the deck list right here. So let me pull up which one... Yada was playing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Yada's deck list was crazy that he entered. This was one of like the three deck lists I didn't look at before. There's no way he's made it this far. Hold on, let me go click on Yada's match because there's actually no shot. Yeah, they made it this far. I want to watch their game. I'm using the same deck. Not sure what's that. You have to play with the submitted list. Okay. Well, it looks like they don't really have any questions for me. They didn't ask anything, so... We'll just go back to watching this. Um, but yeah. The goo. Is it Yada Lock? What is the deck? I, I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't say, right? But we'll, we'll find out in a second, because it is wild. Yeah, I guess we'll, I guess we'll go back. Defo, nobody stream sniping. Huh? You think, you think the players aren't watching the stream? The only place where you can see the timer? <laughs> There we go. Not sure what my deck. Not sure what my deck list was then. I've been playing flu. Yeah, you didn't submit flu into this tournament. <laughs> yeah. I lose the deck that they submitted. Here we get a game one loss. Just proceed to game two without siding. Switch back to the submit. Deck list. Okay, cool. Nice. <sighs> Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. That deck is a wild. That deck is a wild, wild deck. 
Not the game one loss. They gotta get it. They gotta get it. Because everybody knows what everybody's playing in this tournament. Like, obviously, everybody, like, scoped what their last round opponent was playing. Because that way they knew what they were playing against. Um, and now their opponent won't know what they're playing because they didn't have the right deck for the first two rounds, so it's only right for them to get a game loss for it then. And they also did and they also did play two rounds without the right deck list. DBG DM the goo, I'm curious. I'll I'll DM the goo alright. I'll I'll show you I'll sh I'll show you the sauce. The absolute hold on, I don't even know how to DM. How do you even DM on here? Oh whisper, that's what it is. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I whispered you the deck. <laughs> it is a wild deck. I'm not gonna lie. That's why when I thought I saw the list, I was like, there's no shot that they're doing that well. Also, I didn't even realize they're playing Rainbow Bridge. Playing Rainbow Bridge? Like, nobody's been playing Rainbow Bridge ever since Trivi Karma came out. But interesting, they're deciding to still play it. So he decides who goes first. Yes. Yep. They get the game lost. They decide who goes first. Said, what? My man is cooking? I know. That's what I was saying. Like, the, the list is crazy. It's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. I'll, I'll, show, the, I'll show the list by the, um, by the end of the tournament. I'll show the list. Honestly, if they make it past top 8 with the game loss, now forced to play that deck list, he is him. But Mally's in Graveyard for Mally. We have Shuffler. We're activating Chamber. Again, they do have Shuffler. Is this Chamber even scary, though? I don't know what else Cherry Ferrari has. Probably a Shavara in hand, so maybe it's like a summon Aruha. So that way we can like Shavara pop it and summon a bomb from deck, but we could have also just popped Chamber. So if we're flipping Chamber to get to the same thing, it's probably a bait. Unless. Unless. I don't know. I was going to say unless, but I don't know what it'd be unless. I was going to say summon a bomb from hand effect discard. Uh, I think his round one, round two opponents both bricked. If he's on this, there's no chance. I don't know. He, was, he said he was playing flu round one and round two. And then now had to switch to the you know actual summon a deck list. But activate chamber, they said okay. Now change Shavara on Soul Rage. Okay, okay, I like this. And then we just bring back Soul Rage. Okay, so I guess I'll find out the point of this right now. Like, what was the point of actually bringing a Shavara onto the field? Because didn't didn't we already use the escape? We're gonna go Soul Rage effect. Am I missing something? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I really, I really don't get why we activated Chamber. Chain Shavara pop Solo Rage when we could have just gone. Solo Rage effect. So now we're forced to make Anguish. Which is, which is a huge difference, by the way. Huge difference. They probably wouldn't even have done that there. But, okay. Let's check on the other matches real quick. I guess we can check on all of them. Um, okay. So we got... Branded Synchro. Oh. Oh, okay. Main phase two now. I was gonna say, are they just like losing right now? 
but no, not quite. Not quite. It does look like it though. I doubt that Magma might have summoned this turn. No fusion was sent to Graveyard this turn. No follow-up. Their deck only plays one branded fusion and their deck doesn't focus on it at all. Uh, linking off sprints, that means it was summoned last turn. Not this turn. And then link off Sornir, they get Sornir effect to go dump. So this is a turn two. I... How? How is this a turn two? Oh, yeah, I mean, we banished a Merlin and Happiness, that's good. Trick Clown? We banished a Trick Clown? Okay, Dump Retribution. Getting one step closer. Now, like a top deck Sornir, Bestial Lubellion. Oh, actually, yeah, top deck Sornir, Bestial Lubellion gets us to a Branded Fusion. And then Branded Fusion just very, very, very easily wins the game. I guess not very easily, but it probably ends up winning the game, right? Because even if you get stopped, you can banish, bring out Grangoil, banish, bring out the Borland Fusion. Yes, yeah, so you, you, you'd bring out something good no matter what. Uh, maybe the rage was negated. Oh, maybe the rage was negated. Can we watch the goo match? What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? Wait, 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 wait. Because I'm pretty sure this match literally ends right here. I just want to see what they drew for turn. We'll find out literally once what we see. Once we see what they drew for turn. Oh, they passed. I didn't even realize that. Okay, well, I guess this just isn't game. Okay, yeah, we'll click on a different match real quick. Um, Watch Duel. Okay, so this is game two. Yes, it's like a game loss. I'll go second, pick paper. Okay, okay. Um, so they chose to go second, making Pearly go first. Pearly is really comboing here. They're getting to the draw infinite cards. That's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Summon a Kaiju over Big New War. Field spell, my friend. Yup, this is a uh, this this is the goo deck, by the way. Yada's on the goo deck now, bro. Yada will break the board. See, easy, true. But now, now I'm waiting for the OTK. I'm waiting for the OTK now. Like sure, plus 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 plus. It doesn't it doesn't matter when your life points are gonna hit zero, right? They're only at seven thousand. Also, bro, why OTK? He can lock. Oh, he can go for the lock. Talons to draw two. No Ash Blossom. They got literally nine cards in their hand. Not a single one of them is Ash. Probably seven of them are Pearly cards. Okay. So, Druus Worm in the main deck, by the way. So, also, some of their hand traps are going to be very, very awkward in this matchup, some would say. Please be Crusadia, not a single draw or Ash in sight. Uh, it's, it's almost here, it's almost here. I can't wait, they're going to normal summon one of their prime monsters. Oh, okay, okay. Getting closer. I don't know how big this nib token is. Oh, there we go, there we go. Activate Watt Rain, Watt Train. Watt rain, watt train. I don't know. Oh, I guess it's just train, obviously. The train on the picture. Okay, activate. You know, we got the penguin as the captain right here. And then they're going to go ahead and search. That's so crazy. We get to search a card from deck to hand because we control thunder right now. Okay, and that's, that's it. It's the only effect that we're going to get this turn. And this is the only turn that we get. It's it's all oh, it's win now or lose. We're gonna search Watt Cobra. Okay. Nice. And there's no way you let that deck in. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. There, there was like the last two players. I didn't even get to see what decks they were on when I let them in. Because I let them in on stream. And this is one of them. But hey, they're in top eight right now. How'd you get two Thunder Kaijus? Oh, he opened two? Yep. Yep, drop one to their field, drop one to our field, normal summon Watt Cobra. No one's ready for the Watt matchup, though. Nobody is ready for the Watt matchup. Like, if they were, they could have set up a board for this, right? They, they could have set Sleepy, had Sleepy set up for the Watt Cobra to stop it so that we don't take damage to stop the search. But nobody's ready for it. Now they're going to search Watt Tuna. Watt Tuna to special itself out. Sure. Watt attack directly for 800. Uh, by a direct attack, tribute this card on the field and one or more non tuner monsters from your hand or face up field and special summon a Watt Synchro from the extra deck. I wonder if they actually have game. There's no shot, right? I, I looked at the Watt monsters not too long ago to see if you could go all the way in the game and I couldn't find a way to do it like nicely. So I. I I wonder if they have it here. There's like no shot, right? Are they actually OTKing? I'm gonna make Watt Kayuki. It's like a fox or something. Can attack directly when it does damage. Shuffle both a Watt Tuner and Non Tuner Thunder Monster. Oh, a Watt Tuner and just a face up Non Tuner Thunder Monster from your graveyard into the deck. And if you do, especially Watt Synchro from your extra deck. Okay. So, effect, put back, and summon. Okay, so poke for 16, effect, shuffle back, and then we get to summon a level 8 synchro watt. Alright. Gosh, we're just saucing right now. Like, yup, keep going. Put back tuna, put back cobra, or... Or do you put on what is there? Are we putting back itself for a 12? For a 12. Oh, wait. You shuffle back. Oh, it doesn't even. Oh, it doesn't even count the levels. <laughs> I just realized that. It doesn't even count the levels. It's not a synchro summon, it just special summons one out. Okay. Okay. Can attack directly when it inflicts damage to your opponent by direct attack. Choose one card in the deck and remove it from play. Add it to hand two turns after. No. We're so close. They're at 21. But we can't we can't gold sark. We we don't have enough turns for this. It's not it's not enough yet. It's not enough. We need another walk card. We need more. So they're gonna go ahead and banish. It, it's kind of crazy though how it's banish any card. Oh, banish the Balancer Lord? Affect the- No shot, you're gonna summon a Cobra from hand right now. No shot, you're summoning a Cobra from hand right now. Give him a second. Ah, oh, let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. Just out of curiosity when you said you can join if you play a real deck. How'd this pass by? Well, the, the last two deck. No, they lost. GG's. Yeah, because Yada got the game lost game one. Ah, oh, that was insane. That was insane. That was insane. That was insane. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to this match now. Ha. <sighs> But uh, the last two people that entered the tournament didn't get their uh, didn't get their decks checked because yeah I don't know we we were like five minutes past tourney start and still didn't have enough people for the tourney so it literally just got to the point to where I would let anyone in. Obviously he was gonna lose. Hey I don't know he was, he was cooking right there he was cooking. We were getting pretty close. If they summon like a Watt Cobra from hand, that's like that's like game. Literally game. So he played flu in the first two matches. Yep. <laughs> but okay, we are still in game one of the Unchained versus Tier matchup. We're currently about 16 minutes into the round. Uh, how does he summon from hand? I have no idea. I literally don't know what the Watt cards do. I know what the old Watt cards do, but they were close. 
Balancer, yeah, Balancer Lord was summoning one from hand. So if they had Watt Cobra, maybe there's another one that summons from hand. And then you just and go crazy. But banish the anguish off their field. So let's say we banish the anguish off the field. So Shyama and Graveyard still. That's crazy. Uh, contract. Go search for Vice King. Okay. Activate Vice King. Pop special. That's Machinix. Machinix could just be over SP. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, they don't have a shuffling griever, so they were thinking about using SP effect in response to Vice King just to banish off the field, but if they do that, then they lose. Yeah, so they can't. They can't do that, because then they would literally lose this turn if they were just playing for follow-up. I'll say, okay, and did he win or not? What? Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, they didn't win, but it was still cool. They were, they were close. They were close. No, because he got a game loss. Uh, he legit probs had game. Watt Tuna on effect special summon when Watt makes damage. Gosh, Watt Tuna is such a good card. Watt Tuna, poke, summon from extra deck, effect, summon from extra deck, effect, banish, bouncer lord, effect, summon from him. But yeah, beat over SP, uh, take the only interruption away, main phase 2. Oh, we're going to DDD on tier cash. Okay, so if we're willingly popping tier cash, right? Let's think of the reasons behind this. We have talents in hand. Alright. Yep. There we go. <laughs> That's probably it, right? That's probably it. But it's like, also, if you're the tier player, what are you going to do? Not mill 2 here? Nah, nah, nah. You probably you probably have to mill to there, right? They're so far behind. They're on like nothing. I feel like you just have to put your opponent on better have talents at that point, even though they're making it like obvious. Maybe they're making it so obvious to where you won't play into it, and they don't even have it. Or ah, ha ha. Okay, okay. No cap, I would have still gone for it if I was a tier player. Because there's like no shot you win otherwise. Oh, uh, you should have put Andrew Tate in the title DBG. Would have gotten at least a trillion more viewers. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Have like 50,000 live viewers on a Yu-Gi-Oh! DB stream. Actually, I'm not even going to lie. I, my computer probably couldn't even handle it. Chat would literally go crazy. Oh, like if I got followed that many times too. Oh, pfft, nah. I was just thinking about the messages. But the followers would make my stream labs blow up. If it was like that many. That'd be, that'd be bonkers though. That'd be bonkers. It would literally just boop. Go down. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be really cool for like two minutes. And then it would be. And then, and then the stream would crash. It's realistic. DBG is the new ninja. True. Let me let me boot up my my OG fort real quick. DBG is the Jesus Christ of you. <laughs> I'll 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 take the the compliment. <laughs> take the compliment. Shyama pop Sarama pop planet. Sarama goes summon. Yeah, we are in main phase two, so we can't go for games. So we're just trying to set up enough interruptions to actually win. We went through DDD Wave High King Caesar. I don't know if we play two or not. Um, realistically, a second one won't even be needed. Most likely. Our opponent still has, like, a tier cash in deck. Yeah, they still have a tier cash in deck. So, like, a Rhino still equals mill two. They're gonna make Sky Crisis pass. Oh. The set? What? Activate Foolish. Okay, I'm I'm confused. I can we go back and look at how the turn was? How did we get to this point? I feel like I've never ended on this board. 
Okay, activate Kelbeck in response, chain chamber to play around Shuffler, summon Soul of Rage, okay. I mean, like, it's solid. We stop any effects from 3,000 or more bodies. We get the, oh, okay. Oh, they mill Solic, okay, so they get the Surge. And they get the mill too, I didn't even see that for a second, okay, okay. They mill five, they mill Abominal. Yeah, they mill Abominal out of the deck. Okay. And then... I don't know, did we think this was Sprint or something? Kind of set up like... Escape Solar Rage. Escape would have also beat like a Planet Top deck. Yeah, I guess we'd beat Sarcophagus no matter what. Okay, so... They're gonna get their effects. Blood only plays one rage. Nah, that's cap. That can't be real. They search in the mill. Mill rainbow bridge. Denier. Oh, mill's denier? Okay. That gives us two bodies off of that. The rainbow bridge is not live. We've went through our turtle. And we have all of our field spells in the graveyard. But we do have a shuffler in deck still. So that could eventually be live. Um, they're gonna go ahead and make SP, SP effect, banish the denier. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. And then... Was there any pearly in the tournament? Didn't see you. Uh, yeah, there was pearly. I think, I mean, yeah, there's still pearly in the tournament right now. Unless that they lost the top eight. Do you go over the deck list after the tourney? Yep, I do, I do. Who still plays Rainbow in tier? I have no idea. I have no idea. I thought I talked about that earlier. Like it's so weird to see this over Trivi Karma. But this does also search a monster, which is nice. It just means you also have to play a brick and you play three Rainbow Bridge instead of just like one Trivi Karma. Uh, okay, right? They just have that one plate, right? Nothing else? Nope. 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 Okay. Normal Rhino. Effect go dump. We already went through tier cash. They chain SP in response. Sure. Uh, Rhino Heart wasn't going to out anything anyways, though. So we could have actually let that go. Actually, no, I guess you wouldn't let it go. Because you'd, you'd do it on Havnus effect anyways, right? In case they make Mud Dragon into a rank 4. Yep. Yeah, you don't want that happening. So you have to do it before. Okay, so that's it for game 1. They have 21 minutes left in the match, though. So, let's go ahead and click on some of these other top 8 matches. Um, Oh, we only got one other top 8 match going on right now. Also, let me change the stream title to top eight currently. Okay. So, it's still the same game. Branded Despia is working their way back from that same game that we were watching before. I guess not Branded Despia, but Bestial Synchro Despia is working their way back from that game. And there's still 20 minutes left in the round. Oh, is that Thrust just game though? Thrust in the Talons. Talents affect the take. Doesn't, dude, what's the last card in hand? I, I, is it a Bestial? It's not a Bestial. Okay, GG's, GG's. All right, Leon moving on to the top four now. Okay. So, yeah, we got Leon versus Amai on the top four over there. And then on this side, we got Lumina. And then whoever the winner of this match is, which tier just got turn skipped by a shifter. Yeah, they got turn skipped by shifter. Oh. But then Cherry Ferrari went set one pass, and then they scoop 
So even though they turn skip with shifter, they can't play themselves and they scoop. So now we're going on to game three of the last match of top eight. That's so crazy. So let me drink some of this water. Nice. Nice. Hey, shout out to Fab Bath for the follow. And shout out to Silver Ret 2 for the follow. Thank you, thank you. But, okay. Yeah, on to game three of this match now. Um, Cherry Ferrari on Unchained is going to be going first. Trying to combo. Uh, Unchained is supposed to, you know, have a quote-unquote bad matchup in the tier limit. Uh, maybe side decking, shifter, even going first. Uh, also putting in maybe mistaken arrest, anti spell stuff like that. Mistaken arrest can get a lot of value because the opponent mills, then they don't search. Simple as that. <laughs> and it's not like draw where they still get the first search. Like you're stopping all searches, so they're not even getting to like planet search share, and they're going to activate planet chain mistaken arrest. Isn't arrest horrible? Huh? Also stops you for a turn. Unchain? Unchain? Uh huh. On the turn two, you don't even add from deck to hand. Unless if you drew Prosperity for turn. That's literally like the only way. Because Yama adds from Grave turn two. Because you want to save your unchained body, so you add from deck. Or you add from Grave instead of deck. Yep. That's it. Oh, just for Unchain? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess you could play it in other things, too. But, yeah, mainly just Unchained. Oh, and let me fix that visual bug real quick. There we go. Cool. The only ad you could miss is the DDD spell. Yep. Yep. But that's fine at that point. If you have full board plus your flipping mistake and arrest, like, hey, you're, you're feeling good. You're feeling good. Uh, summon out Ruha, or set a Ruha. Shivara pop it, bring out Shyama, go up in the Yama, Yama 1, Shivara 2, set trap, grab a Ruha. Set chamber, grab back a Ruha from the grave to the hand. And then activate a Ruha, pop, special, and then chamber go summon. Yep. Chamber go bring out. We already went through. I was gonna say it's gonna be Sarama. We already went through Shyama, or it could have been Rakea technically, but no, nah, there's really no point of going for Rakea there because your next play would probably just be like Rakea Papa Ruha summon Sarama or Shyama Papa Ruha summon Sarama. So either way, you're just bringing out Sarama next, anyways. You don't have Yama and Grave yet in either of those instances, so it's not like Rakea Pop beats Nib. So they're thinking on that summon if they want to drop Nib. If they even have it, they could also just be bluffing. But you can't bluff it for too long because it really just won't work. They can bluff it now, and they can bluff it on, like, the next, like, two plays. Do they have Nib for the one time? Oh, maybe. The little Cali emote. That's a wild emote. There's, <laughs> like, a whole face shot. But activate Nib. Tribute. Pass over the token. Okay, now they do have the Shyama in the graveyard. Do they have maybe an Unchained Speller Trap in hand that has not used the effect yet? This is a thing here. Yeah, this is going to be a big thing. You don't want to mess this up. You got to play it correctly. You need one too. Oh, I, God, no. Oh, God, no. DBG for real. Uploading vids midstream. Posted new video 11 minutes ago. Oh God, yes, yeah. I got them. Uh, I got them scheduled. So there's also one going up three hours from now at 5 p.m. So easy, easy. I love it when I'm at events and I uh, 
and like I'll just get done with my round and then someone will walk up to me and be like, yo, how'd you just upload this video? And I'll be like, hey, ha, no biggie, no biggie. But, uh, what's the pricing here? Or the prizing? Uh, the prizing is first place gets $45 sent to them on PayPal and they get 15 day dono code on DB. Oh, okay, so we go set one pass. We decided that our Shyama play would not be good enough into this current board. So activate anti spell. Okay. Um, wasn't that the wrong place to nib? Well, I think it's fine. I mean, their next play could have been a Ruha Yama make soul of rage and then you'd want to nib there and the nibbing there is like even more awkward because now they have soul of rage in rotation at least which is kind of good for them but we just go normal denier make dark charmer dark charmer effect to take yama and then thinking there what they want to do Hey, shout out to Nesh for the raid with the party of 158. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you for the raid. Oh, also, camera went a little bit blurry there. My bad. But I like seeing you play your deck, Nesh. The Phantom Knight build. That was cool. Um, But okay. Okay. Thinking on summon of Yama. Would be funny if they used Yama to get Shyama. True. 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 Which, if... They have Shyama, they could have done that, but Ash on Sprint, yeah, otherwise they get to make Dangerous, which is one step closer to a Beatrice, okay, so we shut that down. They already Normal Summon, they Normal Summon Denier, that's like a really weak Normal Summon compared to a lot of the other cards that could have been Normal Summon. They are under Anti-Spell, oh, they're setting, oh, they're passing, oh my gosh, Tear actually got stopped there. Okay, so now Cherry Ferrari just has to go for game. There's still, yeah, I was gonna say, there's still a little over 10 minutes left in the round. Uh, set anything, even a hand trap, Shyama pop it. Set Phoenix Rhino Warriors, Shyama pop, special out. Phoenix Rhino go dump Shivara, Yama banish the summon. It's just enough for game already. Do they have a tier card in Grave? Nope. So if they have tier cash, they'd have to banish from hand. They probably don't have it. They probably would have tried to do it last turn. But summon out Sarama, dump Shavara, Shavara set a trap card. Like, come on now. It's just game. Someone clipped DBG with his hands like that. Legit, the Mr. Beast song pose. The Mr. Beast song pose. I don't even know what the Mr. Beast song pose is. Uh, but they're going to go ahead and set. Okay, so how much damage is that? 100 over. Okay, so they got 71. So Shyama, pop Sarama, and then their field spell. We're not going to pop their Solik and let them search tier cash, so pop the field spell. Sarama go summon. Sure. I didn't think we were going to pop Sarama, but I guess this works too. We can go for a bomb. Just switch token to attack, go for game. Or discard, draw, pop, sprint. Yeah. So, discard, pop, any response. Pop. Okay. Oh, uh, when you had your arms out when you're trying to unblur the camera. Tate really showing he's 12. Sad day. <laughs> okay. Yup, that's going to be it for that match. We see Unchained win there. It was looking real bad for them for a second. Real bad. But going on to the top four now. Okay. Going on the top four. 